Steve Jobs said that the key to long-term success is staying hungry and foolish. The problem is the number one enemy we have in our quest of staying hungry and foolish is success itself. When we're winning, we're tempted to forget the core disciplines that made us successful. This video is about the specific protocol I created years ago to sustain success in business. Because in the past, I would cross 20K a month, 50K a month, 75K a month and beyond, and then I would revert back to the mean. I had no clue on how to stay winning. And I've noticed that this is a pattern that happens also to the clients when we start training them. So apply this protocol and I can guarantee that you will achieve the hardest thing, which is staying successful. Welcome back. You know, everyone, Leon Castillo here, founder of Self Mastered Peak Performance Institute for Entrepreneurs. We help you scale with peak clarity, focus, discipline, and self belief. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Never miss out on any of the videos that we publish every day. So, this video is about how to stay successful because if you think about it, staying successful really is the hardest thing because becoming successful is a matter of firing on all cylinders, spiritually, mentally, physically, and executive wise, AKA peak performance towards a very clear and specific goal. If you know where you're going and you show up at your best every single day, you will eventually achieve peak results. Whatever those peak results mean to you it can be 10K a month, 100K a month, marathon PR, shedding 30 pounds, whatever it is that you are committed on achieving, you will achieve it if you have clarity on the goal and you're performing every single day at your peak. So I would argue that is the easiest way. The problem is staying successful because when success happens, you tend to relax. You tend to start paying attention of things that are not the ones that made you successful in the past. So that leads to increased complexity. The more complexity you have to conquer, the less focus you have available to eventually stay successful. And you end up reverting back to the original state to the point that you may very well destroy your career as it has happened to elite performers in the past. And people like, you know, Conor McGregor in the MMA field or Tiger Woods in golf or Mario Balotelli in football, all elite performers, incredibly talented sportsmen that destroyed their career, at least for a few years, because they lose sight of what was truly important of the core disciplines that help them win in the first place. And this happens to both individuals, but also teams, because there's very rare in which there's a team that wins the championship and then repeats the same victory the year after. Only Real Madrid comes to mind when they scored three Champions League in a row a few years back. And it has certainly happened to me. I remember when I fasted for uh, 10 weeks, I was fasting between two and five days per week to shed 30 pounds and I achieved the goal. And then I lost, you know, stopped caring about my nutrition and I recouped 20 pounds within a month. I remember when I first crossed 75,000 a month and I was so elated, super happy about it. But then I started working on product again and I stopped caring or you know, paying as much attention on the marketing side. And the next month was a disappointing 30K a month. So that happens to every single one of us. It is like a natural law, as if we had an internal thermostat that regulates how much we push. In fact, we do have that thermostat. It is our subconscious self image. It is what we believe we are worth. We would only push to the level that we believe we are worth. The success we achieve is always limited by how we think about what we deserve. So the core discipline to staying successful is to consistently update your identity towards a goal that is meaningful. And this is exactly how the protocol that I'm gonna share with you works. Now, if you're seeing any value in the video, consider subscribing. Never miss out on any of the videos that we share with you every week. So this is the protocol that I designed. First was recommitting to the vision every time I hit 
a specific goal, right? In order for this to work, you need to have a vision that is so big that you are inevitably to pull towards it because elite performers, they have a vision that is so big that it's always very far away and they're so motivated to chase it that they always know how to move forward. An elite performer is not interested in 10k a month is interesting in a million a month and when you have a million a month as your goal as the vision then you naturally are pulled towards that goal this is what makes elon musk so successful he sets those goals that are super ambitious that provide a decade or several decades long journey that he can wholeheartedly recommit every single time he hits a new milestone so that's step number one is recommitting to that vision step number two is identifying when you are displaying beliefs and behaviors that are not aligned with the next level you are seeking to conquer in other words when you are taking your feet off the gas and that is very normal because your identity needs to accommodate the permanent growth trajectory that you create for your life. So step two is to readapt your identity to whatever needs to be done to get to that next level. That is supremely important because as we said before, you would only achieve what you believe you are worth. Then step number three is to reassess whether you have the right physiological protocols, you're taking care of yourself enough to get there. Because oftentimes, and it's very easy to get sidetracked, to start overworking, to stop caring about yourself, to not do the rest and recovery protocols or routines that keep you sane, balanced, and collected in the past. So if you're working harder than ever, it is good that you assess what is the physiological protocols, how well you're taking care of yourself in order to win. LeBron James, for instance, spends 1.5 million a year in making sure his body and mind are perfect for performance. And that doesn't give him more hours in the day, but make sure that the performance of the hours in which he's working and playing are so much more effective. So rest and recovery truly is a secret weapon of elite performers. And finally is making sure you're not working on the wrong things because that is very common, right? Staying, getting to the next level implies shedding away the old way of looking at no, what you were doing. It implies doing new stuff, identifying new activities, finding new sources of leverage that can move you forward faster. And that implies a discipline, the discipline of not be tempted to work hard for the sake of working hard, but instead of leveraging yourself or finding ways of getting more done with less effort. That is a function of being a good executive is finding what is the best way of getting to your goals. So this is a four step protocol that I will normally use when I hit a new milestone. First of all is, am I recommitting to the vision? When all of that increased complexity comes and all these new opportunities come my way, I pause and reflect on whether they're aligned with the long-term goal, with the vision. And if the answer is no, they're just a distraction, I don't pay attention to them. Then two, I try to understand what are the beliefs and the behaviors that I'm displaying that are not conducive to the next level. Maybe I'm just not working hard enough, or maybe I'm just not resting hard enough, or maybe I have a limiting belief about what I can accomplish. So that next milestone will never arrive because I don't even believe in it, right? So it's very important that you consistently audit your belief system and your routines and protocols to ensure continual growth, which leads me to point number three. The most important behaviors that you should deploy are the ones that keep you sane, calm, and collected. And those are active recovery protocols. So healthy routine, healthy nutrition, healthy sleep, meditation, heat therapy, cold therapy, breath work, all sorts of tools that we have as human beings to regulate another system and stay on top of our stress. And finally, executive protocols and executive performance that allows us to always choose the highest leverage path towards our goals. Because the goal is not to work super hard. The goal is to leverage ourselves to the max to find ways of achieving more with less. And this is tied to the vision, right? How do we know something is high leverage? Because it is linked to the vision. The thing that allow me to move faster to the vision is the thing that I should 
prioritize, right? So here you have it. This is the protocol that I normally use to make sure that success does not beget future failure. Uh, this keeps me hungry, keeps me foolish, keeps me pushing forward or rather being pulled forward towards a destination I wholeheartedly believe makes sense for my life. If you want help on how to do this and how to make sure you move as fast as you can by becoming a performer, book a call with us. We'll be happy to help you scale with peak focus, clarity, discipline, and self-belief. And in the meantime, check this video because it's going to go deeper into how to sustain success. See you in the next video onwards.